Greetings people of YouTube, Ducking Creepers here, and I've hopefully found a way to finally do videos properly for good this time. I'm messing around with an older version of Virtual Dub because the new version doesn't work, but it seems like the old version does, and it has a pretty good compression, and it's got the basic trimming that I need. So hopefully I can do Let's Plays now. Yeah. Speaking of Let's Plays, you might be wondering, what the heck is this one that you're doing? It is Magic World 2, and we're gonna be doing that for a while, because this is a fun mod pack. It's like the only FTB pack that doesn't lag anymore. And, yeah, it's got lots of cool stuff, and I don't play Magic mods enough, so I figured, do a Magic World 2 Let's Play, why not? I don't want Limestone, I want Basalt. Basalt for days. I hear zombies. I scared. What you gonna do, zombies? You know, it would probably help if I stopped being stupid for a minute and mined some iron before I get to the building materials. Why are there so many sheep in this ravine? I mean, I know there's sheep around here. But seriously, get, get out of here. Get out of my face. I don't know if it died. I'm sorry if I killed you, Mr. Sheep. Or Miss Sheep, I guess. Broke it. Good job. Okay, I should probably make a furnace. Yeah, I got my beautiful pink crafting table over here. It's pretty solid. Hot topic. Hell yeah. A blazing chlorophyll crystal. Why? Why is that a thing? Why do you need chlorophyll? Why? What is the point of having chlorophyll? I don't even know how half these mods work. I might learn Thomcraft at some point. I've always wanted to. I've just never had the patience for figuring it out. So yeah, I already started on this world a little while before playing. So I went around and collected a bunch of seeds. I was going for essence seeds. I got all these in the process. I don't even know what 90% of them do. Like, mandrake, water artichokes, belladonna, I don't know what those are. Witchery. And then there's just a bunch of the other magical crop seeds that nobody really uses because you have Natura bushes in the same pack. I wish you could, like, take the Natura sticks and make pink torches, that'd be awesome. Hear that, M. Dio, or whoever's working on Natura now? We need pink torches. This is what I always do. I make these little bases out in open air nonsense for a while until I can get some good foundational stuff going and actually start building. I'd build over the ocean, but I really don't want to be bothered with all the sand that that requires, so I might try to build with the land to some extent here. Which is something I really don't do all that often, so I probably should get some practice with it anyway. Iron pickaxe. I need you. Acquire hardware. Abracadabra. Oh, Farlanders. You crazy. Need sticks. Iron pickaxe. Ooh, go me. Adventure! Well, the beauty of SSP is I can actually parkour over things without killing myself now. That tended to be a problem on the servers. What was that? What is that noise? <sighs> I hate ambiance when you don't know what it is. Now that I'm thinking about it, that might be the Farlander that I saw earlier. I think that's the type of noise they make. Such derp. Still not a nice noise. And then we just have to have the creepy cave sounds in there. Screw off, zombies. I just want to mine. 
my basalt here so I can build Noises are literally terrifying. What is it? Shut up, you. I don't even need jump scare games. I get scared by early game Minecraft. Shut up. What do we have for helmets and armor and things? Well, that looks fun. Don't think I'm gonna be able to kill titans, though. A drinking helmet? Why? Why is this necessary? I don't know. I suppose I shall be... screwed for a while. I'm gonna die like 800 times in this let's play. Ugh! Words. The beauty of having an editor now is that I know I don't have to always be saying interesting things. Because I can edit out the parts where I'm a boring potato. Which, come to think of it, is most of the parts, so... What time is it? Mm. Ah, shiz. I didn't pay attention to the clock! And I can sleep, even though there's a skeleton ten feet from my face? I don't know where he went. I'd go kill one of these endermen, but... That's probably not going to end well for me. Can you not? Screw off. Nobody likes you, Enderman. I'd kill you, but you'll probably wreck my face. No, screw it, I'll kill you anyway. This is a terrible idea. Figures, now he's gone. Genius, stuck. You're a genius. Okay, well, now I have a sword, so that's good. Let's go get some stuffs. Stuffs. Ouch. I don't want shale. Shale is terrible building material. Well, at least from a durability standpoint. I suppose I just like basalt because it makes blood altars look really cool when you build them out of it. You'll see what I'm talking about. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I forgot torches. Genius. This entire Let's Play is just gonna be a montage of me forgetting things for a while. Um. Well, at least I'm finding iron, if nothing else. Can I mine Mimikite with this? Yes, I can. Ready, watch. Mimikite. No? Am I the only one that thought Mimikite doubled smelting output? It's kinda hard to bother with torches when you're in an open air ravine. There's one right there. Why did I do that? That was one basalt by itself. What is the point of that? You know what? I'm just gonna stop jumping over that. I'm just gonna build a bridge there. And there's the creepy noise again. It's like Duck goes in this area, must give him creepy noise. Shut up, you! I'm going to kill you, whatever you are. Unless you're the Farlander, because I kinda need those. If nothing else, I can sacrifice them to Blood Altar Jesus, or however the heck the LP is supposed to work. I haven't actually read the blood magic myth stuff. Oh, hello. There's a cave here. Block this off for now. Because I don't want to deal with hostiles. I think I hear skeleton noises, so the last thing I need is a skeleton barging in on me. Iron for days. If I could find some coal, that'd be nice, honestly. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of it. There's tons of iron here. There's like no coal to be spoken of. Well, there's a redwood tree, apparently. How am I that stupid that I didn't see a redwood tree? Well, that'll take care of the coal issue, I guess. You know, because those things turn into more charcoal than you could ever possibly use in your entire lifetime. 
Of course, I don't have tinkers, so chopping it down is gonna be a fun task. Normally, I'll chop those things down with an auto smelting fortune tinkers lumber axe, and within like 10 minutes, I have more charcoal than is ever even used ever. I'm surprised those things are enabled, honestly. As I recall, they're kind of super overpowered, considering they're really buggy and don't actually grow with the proper amount of saplings. Because in Monster, I had that issue where I could grow redwoods from one sapling. You can imagine how much ridiculousness that spawns. So, I guess we're gonna go chop down redwood. Let's make an axe, shall we? Mm, yes. Very good. Let's go talk to the Farlander. See if he has any good traits. And see if he was making the noises while we're at it. Why are you going in the cave? Are you serious? Yeah, it is you making the noises, you stupid flup. You're asking a ruby for a stone pickaxe. I should kill you, like, just take you off this earth for that nonsense. Ruby for a stone pickaxe. Oh, there's lots of them. There's a whole bunch of you, huh? How'd you end up that poor sucker's on the other side of the river and they can't swim? They're Enderman based. What do you have? Arrows? That's not bad. Two for an iron hoe. Come on. A wood shovel. A wood shovel. Does he know that no one ever even makes wood shovels? Like, usually it's basically make a wood pickaxe, and that's the extent of wood tools. Okay, two for iron leggings. That's not bad. Come here! I should get a name tag and name him Sucker. Emerald and Ruby for gold boots. No thank you. The only good deal apparently is the Iron Leggings one, if I find any rubies. So, usually you find wanderers by themselves. I don't know why there's like 20 of them. But I'm glad they're wanderers, because if they were regular Farlanders, then I'd have the issue of the stupid golems trying to kill me. I can't even tell you. Like, I was trying to start up a world for this before, I spawned next to a Farlander house, the Ender Golem just immediately goes after me. And they move pretty fast, so they're hard to shake off. It's just obnoxious. Like, the things have a hundred health, and they attack you unprovoked during broad daylight. How is that balanced? That's just mean. I wasn't looking to get attacked in broad daylight in the mod pack, thank you. Now I can actually go chop down that tree without night trolling me. Oh, there's coal. Tree is more better. M-O-A-R-B-E-T-T-A-R. -T -T I guess I can, like, mine a staircase up the tree. This is crazy. These things are crazy. I think it was Thrule who said he always makes his house in one of these. Hey, Thrule, if you're watching this, they do have Redwoods in Magic World. I didn't think they did, honestly. I thought they disabled them. Alright, I guess we're starting at the roots. It's gonna be the derpiest staircase that ever derped. Bark! As tempting as it is to make a Redwood base, I... I kinda get bored of those quickly, there's a very finite amount of space. I have grander aspirations for my base, plus this isn't a PvP server, so there's no need to hide from people. Redwood bases are very good for making hidden bases in plain sight. Of course, the problem lies when people have the same thought, and they go into a Redwood and discover, oh hey look, someone already made their stuff here. Hmm. Okay. Why did I put the root there? OCD, even though it literally matters zero what type of bark or root or potato I put there. Oh hey, look at that, I got to the top of one of the rings. Once I get up to the layer where the leaves start, I'm probably gonna stop. And we've gotten pretty high up. Okay. 
Now that we got up here, there's only one thing left to do. Yeah! Look at that, just trying to get a little staircase up the tree. I already got over a stack. And headset fell off. Good job, me. Alright, I'm gonna head home. I probably should have marked my coordinates, that would have been smart, but... I'm just gonna go by landmarks for now. Oh, I have Ray's minimap on. What am I doing? I need to set a waypoint. Stupid. Stupid duck. So yeah, it's the Farlanders making the creepy noise that was literally scaring me to death at the beginning of this. Nom 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 the reason why I didn't use biomes of plenty is because it tends to screw up a lot of things. Like a lot of mods have biome specific spawns and whatnot. And if you have biomes of plenty on, then finding them is almost impossible, so I played without it. Okay. Cooking charcoal. What? What? No, that's not what I wanted to do. I guess I'll store the actual redwood in here, because I can turn that into planks. So I guess I'm gonna end this episode here. Sorry, not much has happened yet. Kinda gotta get the starting foundational things. I hope you enjoyed me being scared half to death by Farlander noises, and trying to fight an Enderman, and that didn't even work. And YOLO jumping off a tree in third person. That's about the extent of what we accomplished here today. Magic. World. Two. Good night. Bye.